Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today to talk about the Spring is Sprung campaign, which finally got announced. Which, funny enough, I had recorded a video looking for the events that were coming up for the next upcoming month, and I was like, oh wow, this event hasn't come out yet. Weird, it must be coming out soon. And then like a couple hours later, they announced that this was coming out. <laughs> so... Yeah, I had that video scrapped and we're gonna have to redo it, but it's okay, because today's video is gonna focus on the Spring Has Sprung campaign, which is coming out soon, on the 23rd, so it's gonna be coming out in one more day. So that's gonna be today's video, I hope you like it, if you do, feel free to leave a like, uh, comment down below, tell me what you're looking forward to in the Spring Has Sprung campaign, uh, probably not a lot of people are actually summoning for Mail Arthur, but if you are, I'd be interested to hear <laughs> the people who are. So let's get into it. Uh, the Spring of Sprung campaign, which is also the 23 million, supposed to be the 23, actually this is supposed to be the 23 million download campaign. Is this not called the 23 million download campaign? Uh, is it not called that? That's weird. That, oh, that, yeah, so this is supposed to be the 23, I don't for, I forget what download celebration we're on, but that's weird that they're not calling it that, but... Okay. Yeah, that's really weird. Just to be sure, maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. But let me just be sure on this one. Uh huh. February. Yeah, twenty-three million downloads campaign. And now it's a spring of sprung campaign. Okay, sure. So yeah, it starts on the twenty-third of February and goes into the March second. The login bonus is, if you go start from the, oops, let me quickly X that out real quick. Oh wait, I can't do that, one moment. Sorry about that, that was an important work email. It's been handled, let's move on. So yeah, the consecutive login campaign, on day one you get 10 silver apples, on day two you get 10 golden apples, then 10 of the... 4 EXP, I don't know why it's the 4 EXP, 10 million QP and 10, uh, 10 foes of both types of attack and HP, and then 10 summon tickets, which is the best thing on here. And then for the special login bonus, it's 200 mana, mana prisms, one of the golden foes of each type, and finally on the fourth day, a rare prism. There's also going to be a new rank up quest for all the Arthur fans out there, so there you go. You now get a, a better Arthur, so feel free about feel feel good about that. Limited time campaigns, 2x for you friend points when clearing quests, 2 gr 2x great, great and super suck. 1 half a AP campaign, 1 fourth QP costs, pretty nice. Actually, I'd, whoa, QP need for certain, okay, that's actually good to know. Limited time master missions, defeat 10 lancer enemies, defeat 20 lancer enemies, defeat 3 super giant enemies, defeat 5 super giant enemies. All these are basically the dudes who are, who are weak to Arthur. Defeat uh, three divine servants, or related to them in some way. Defeat three chaotic servants. Defeat three balanced servants. Defeat three good servants. Uh, put one or more saber class servants in your party and complete any three any quest three times. Put one or more saber class servants in your party and complete any quest five times, and then complete everything. And this will give you the much better five exp cards, which is five, 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 and the final one is ten and one of the little beast footprints. And then there's permanent master missions, which are going to be added, which is raise any servant to level 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then raise any two servants to the following levels, and there's at least a three. I think I've done, yeah, I've done all of this. Yeah, Bunyan, Samba Quetz, and Quetzalcoatl for me. So there you go. I'm just going to get some free, uh, <laughs> some free Zay Quartz coming by the way. And then the Mana Prism Shop updates with the White Vessels Command Seal. And then, of course, Caldea Dinner Time, which is featuring Mashu over here, and Dragon Slayer Sword, 25% crit damage against dragon enemies when attacking using the engraved card. And yeah, that looks to be ba oh wait, duh, the summoning campaign. Summon for Arthur Pendragon prototype. Uh, you also have a rate up of, of CEs, which feature, um, I forget what year, it's from the Arthur year, but I want to say it's for all, no, it's, I, um, is this for all of them? No, it's specifically the Arthur years, I think. Yeah, from the one when Arthur was featured. I actually don't know, looking at them just from the base look here, so. Yeah, and Arthur Pendragon himself. Uh, the original Arthur, not the greatest. Sign of the Red Dragon, this is pretty nice. Increases on Buster performance for three turns, increases MP generation for three turns. 
50% Buster is pretty nice. 30% MP rate is very nice. I think the... Oh, Dazzling Journey, EX. Increase on crit damage. Yeah, this one probably is the last of his abilities that need to get buffed in some way, even though it's funny to have 100% damage against super large enemies. Uh, and probably his NP as well. I actually don't know a lot about... I think for, mo for the most part, um, the only thing I really know about specifically Saber has always been that I use the original OG Saber, the one from Fate Stay Night, for grinding. And she's really good at that. I actually don't know how good he is in comparison. Um, he doesn't look to be as good, but if you are someone who uses him and would like to kind of rep him, I would love to hear what your thoughts on him. But I've always seen Arthur as kind of like just existing. And he, that's crazy to say because he has a 50%. It feels wrong saying it. So maybe there's something I'm missing. Feel free to tell me about it. But I've always seen him as kind of like one of those middle of the road units where not a lot of people hype him up. But not a lot of people like... Well, people do drag him down, to be fair. I'm doing that. But it's not, like, intense dragging down. He's not, like, the actual worst. He's not, like, um... He's not Geronimo. <laughs> Dude, Geronimo is legitimately one of the worst <laughs> servants out there. Um... So, yeah. Tell me about him. And, yeah, that's... The only thing else I have to say is really weird that maybe are we gonna stop doing... We're gonna stop calling them download campaigns? Let me see, what was the, when was the last download campaign? Right here. So this would have been our 20 million download campaign. Let me see when is our next one. When was the next one for JP? I think it might have been somewhere... Was it April? Uh... Mmm... It they take a while, I can tell you that much. July... August... Damn, when does the next one hit? It takes a, a real long-ass time. October... Still nothing, really? Was there only really two download campaigns throughout the entirety of this? 24 million. So this would be the next one in November. Which would be our... 21 million? But if Arthur doesn't count, then that would be less? Yeah, it's weird. I'm trying to see if there's any specific mentioning here of... Hmm. Maybe we'll say here, Spring of Sprung campaign. Uh... No, that's really weird. That's interesting. So let me just see the wording on it on here for him once more. I also realized I might have been... Am I in the wrong one again? Am I just dumb? I might be a little bit stupid because I'm in the NA side. Yes, I am just a little bit stupid. Okay, there we go. Mm, it's 23. This would be our next one right here. So on a 23 one, I'm so I'm so sorry for the. I know there's someone out there who's really bothered by the scrolling, but this is something I'm looking up right now. Doesn't seem to have been much change from what we got, so it's not like we're getting less. It's just not being called a specific download campaign anymore. Okay, sure. I don't think it really matters much. Um, I wouldn't read too much into it. To be honest, because it's always been known that the JP side of Fago makes a lot of money, and that's usually the the JP side makes enough money to function all the other ones, and these are always seen as like bonuses of some kind. So I wouldn't be too worried. In no universe is there any danger of anything. I just think it's very interesting that they decided not to call it that. But maybe it'll change when I'm seeing. It. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Doesn't matter. Anyway, feel free to tell me your thoughts on it. Maybe I am blowing up. If you can see specifically where it says it's a download campaign, feel free to tell me, but yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it on here anywhere. It just says campaign. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Until next time, well, you'll see me, chances are, tomorrow with another video going for what's coming up for the next month. <laughs> but that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace out.